Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Space 2 with the Reawakening Update. I'm JC Proton, this is uh, series playthrough series number 9, and it's episode number 6. I wanted to do a quick review of the uh, patch notes, or not patch, the update notes. So this is basically just the text that Amplitude sent out when they did their update. It mostly focuses on Academy stuff, but there are some core game changes. Um, I went over this part in the first video in the series, but I want to dive down into uh, the more detailed patch notes. Uh, here's the combat changes. There's more detailed notes about squadrons and uh, hulls and all kinds of stuff like that. For those of you who don't have this handy, if you want to nerd out on the details, um, here they are. So some changes to the base game and a lot of changes to the Awakening DLC as well. So just wanted to make it easy for anybody who wants to look at the details. Here you go. All right, um, so <clears throat> we'll hop back into the game. So on this game, uh, I am running one mod. I'm running Better Planet Generation. Um, and that just makes it where, for the most part, the minimum number of planets in a star system will be three. Uh, there will be very few that have one or two um, planets in a star system. Looks like we were at turn 34. And also it makes it where the system that has the academy in the center of the galaxy uh, will have uh, five planets in that star system. So uh, to be clear, uh, I'm not affiliated with Amplitude uh, or Sega. I, I'm not. I'm just a fan of the game. I, I'm, I don't get any royalties or money or anything. <laughs> I'm not nearly that cool to be a big time streamer or whatever I'm, I'm just a fan of the game and um noticed there was a dearth of people posting for the most part a lot of the uh the old timers who used to post playthroughs uh don't seem to be doing it anymore and i kind of missed it so that's why i started um recording my games i do like to watch uh, other people's let's plays i i learn a lot that way and it's fun because you see you know different people have different approaches to the game, different styles. They try things like, wow, I wouldn't do it that way. And then you're like, oh, wow, look at that. It worked out pretty well for him. Huh, okay, cool. So <laughs> there's a fair bit of that that happens when I watch other people play. All right, so we are picking up at turn 34. Way out on the edge of the galaxy. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, we had a scout that got attacked by pirates, and it looks like it's like a quest type of thing. It's all guns, it looks like. And they don't seem to be attacking Horatio, unfortunately, who has Curiosity Expedition Power 2. Zero probes left. Now, there were two atmospherics left here, and now there's only one. So apparently... Horatio is just camped out there exploring those atmospherics while the pirates are not attacking him. All right, well, that's not what I wanted to have happen. I wanted him to get attacked. Uh, we have these fleets uh, and the lost Horatio heading down here to do this quest. Um, explore this, which will get us, I think it's 200 dust. And yeah, dust to dust. And it will also spawn a pirate fleet similar to the to the other one we just looked at. It's a little over 100 attack power, all guns, if I recall correctly. So the fleet that we have headed down there, this is all energy. Um, that's all energy. That's all energy. They have shields, but they don't have any armor. Horatio also, the lost Horatio has energy. And this uh, outpost ship is coming down here to the Atlas system. We're going to be colonizing Tiona, which is a really nice system. Uh, we got a really cool quest. The Seek the Unique. 
uh, no, it wasn't that one. It was it was it was one of them that gave a reward of um, systems are like plus fifty percent industry and science if you have uh, if they're a unique planet on the system and there's a hero assigned to the system it's like whoa so then systems that have a unique planet like miragashi hekim uh atlas who has uh tionha and over here at this system if i can get to it jim jayam uh has tor um so that's another system i would like to get my hands on um there's the quest there. There's an atmospheric three and a life form and an Eden incense and a subterranean one. It's like, hmm, that might be a strategic resource, right? And on the steps. So, yeah, all that looks interesting. We have encountered the Lumeris over here, the United Empire here, and apparently this over here is the um, Horatio. So Horatio do not have Grus, nobody has Andromeda, but Lynx is apparently the Lumeris system. So it looks like we have Horatio, United Empire, and Lumeris facing off against us, and we're based out of Horolium. So we basically want to take we want to take the, the Mensat system, we want to take a good bit of Grus and Andromeda, and yeah, we basically just want to take this side of the galaxy. <clears throat> Alright, so let's run through these events and stuff, and then we'll move our fleets and we'll do all the stuff. Price decrease for military ships, so we don't have the ability to buy ships yet in the markets. Because we haven't unlocked the tech for it, which is uh, over here. Impactless sites. <clears throat> AB, intensive cultivation. Let's see, AC. Completed monsoon. Let's see what happens to these numbers here. I like to go kind of with whatever gives me the most industry and food kind of early on. So it looks like that's better. And level two modernizations are completed at a couple of these. We've got to get a handle on our financial situation. Um, so I think AG was the most recently acquired. Yeah, this was the this was the Mavros system. Okay, and let's see AD Mavros Forest. We need to fix these up here. Um, so, send one of those to AA. We're going to want to colonize these. So, let's what's what's going on here with this? Forty-four upkeep. Eco habitats gives plus one population slot on sterile. Um, do we have sterile here? Steps, savannah, savannah. We, we don't have sterile, and we're not ever going to have sterile. So that's a structure we actually don't want to have here. And it's costing us 16 dust per turn in upkeep, so that's, we're at minus 44 right now. All right, so let's get rid of that building. We'll scrap it. We'll get 454 dust for it, and it will reduce our dust expense uh, for, for system upkeep. Okay, so now let's see. That's 288, 288, 288. And we have already built Xeno industrial infrastructure. So that is worth 20 industry. That's worth 20 industry. So that's that would be 10, 20, 34, 40 science because of those two and these two and then this one would be 
20 industry and 20 science. And we already have that as well, which is giving us food. So then that gives us an extra, yeah, that's good. And then probably this one, this one, and this one. Something like that, roughly. So I'm just gonna go through and kind of update things. That'll be good because it's four industry per pop, and then we'll go food, food, food. More titanium. Probably going to need the approval because of this gas planet. And Arctic, we'll need to terraform that. Specializations, we don't really have what I'm looking for yet. Okay, so that's a little bit of help on the money situation. Where are we at on approval? Content, uh, so our approval is not great. Our research is 405, our laws. Cram exam, let's see what happens if we drop cram exam, it might improve our approval enough. 405 to 402, that's not much of a drop. Our approval went up to loyal, so now we have a little bit better money situation, okay. Tell you what, we're running a law to reduce the improvement cost. I'll bet you, let's try Toys for Boys. That'll offset the, um, the, the boost that we're getting from uh, the SOFON law, but or the science law, but 20 more approval might be enough to make a big difference. So that puts us to 454. So we're at more science than we were to start with. Our money is even in better shape. And now we're devoted. Cool. All right. And so we can see where we're going to need to work on our approval here. Um, see, he's going to get that. That'll help. Okay. And adding more planets will help with approval because of this technology here with your eukaryotic sap, plus five approval on cold and plus five on plants. So every planet you get gives a plus five approval. And if it's a cold planet, it's another plus five. All right, so then let's go everywhere where we need more approval. We'll add that in. is fine 74 can use a little help <clears throat> 57 can definitely use a little help and then we'll just kind of keep an eye on approval we'll see if we can get things kind of improved and we're going to spread our populations around a bit okay AB has one to share computer's a bit laggy
right. And we can actually send two to Heckim, and we'll just have Heckim uh, pass one along to AB. So we'll send two here, and then one of those um, Mavros will move over to AB. And then as they grow, we'll, we'll just spread them all around to our various systems. Okay. Ah, Cephaloros. We're now cordial with the Cephaloros. They're over here, really close to the Lumeris. That makes me nervous. Lumeris uh, have a habit of taking miners from under me, and these guys have an amazing, amazing uh, faction trait. I mean, 130 is a lot to spend. I kind of want to praise them again. <clears throat> I guess I'll wait and see what we get for a... Because I'm not really making much influence at this point. M much of what I've accumulated has come from just discovering things. Okay, so there's Tor is over in that system. Death without a corpse. Yeah, that's right. This is the one. Now... Uh, Thibaut Gherkin said that uh, he's already verified um, uh, that this bug seems to not be kicking in now on this um, reawakening update. Uh, they seem to have fixed that bug. It says in the patch notes that Amplitude fixed it, so um, I, I pray that is the case. I definitely hope so. Uh, okay, so then we want to get that, and let's see, we've already been sending probes out places. Tell you what, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have ten probes, ten movement, so it's one movement per probe, I think. We're gonna send one probe this way, kind of split these two. So, in theory, we should have nine movement left. Okay, whatever. We're taking it. We'll head over out this way. <clears throat> so, let's see. That detector has good engines and good probes. It's unarmed. The hero ship is okay. It has probes, a torpedo. <clears throat> Yeah, so it has a missile and a gun, um, and then it has both types of defense. I'm okay with it. I, I've been thinking about it, and um, I think I'm still going to try to press forward with the early game um, kinetics. Um, it may not be optimal, but I think it's good to try early game, and supposedly kinetics got buffed a bit, and I know that... Uh, from what I'm seeing, the shield values on shield defenses are, they have a lot more hit points on the shields. So, energy weapons are not as good as they used to be. My meta used to be uh, energy weapons and guns. Um, and I think maybe that's shifted. We'll test it out and see. Uh, and in any case, the Sofon hero skills, uh, the admirals, that are so funs and I think I want to say it's Rogani. They get a massive, they get a, uh, if you put two points in here, it's 40% extra energy weapon damage. And they get a whole bunch of movement speed as well. So um, I think later on, I, I might come back to that and get more energy weapons, at least on fleets that I have commanded by a Sofon Admiral or a Vodiani Admiral. Um, I greet you in the name of the four families. Yeah, and so they have green streak, so they only have one minor civilization so far. The Empire will not tolerate this. All right, well, he is being threatening like he usually is, and the only... They got one minor civilization, they got the, the pilgrims. Which that's a that's a fun ability, uh, the, the, the zealous exploration. Be is content, cool. fortune smiles. 
for Horatio is willing to speak with you. Excuse me. All right. All right, Horatio. And you have hard hitters, so you only got that one as well. You only got one minor civilization. Okay, so... Um, not sure where the pirate was that was here. There was one headed into Naos, so apparently it didn't come to Bria. So we'll go over here to Bria, uh, to Naos. There it is. There's the pirate fleet. So now they have 735 attack. They're good at long, medium, and short range. That one's all energy. That one is kinetics mixed between missiles and guns. And then this one is, looks like missiles and a, uh, either a beam weapon or maybe a, a laser weapon. Not exactly sure. But a little bit of energy weapon damage there. Okay. I think what's going to happen here is on kind of the macro scale. Um, I've got my hero with a scout heading over here to Jim. Jim and uh, so you have this Lynx constellation. I'm going to have that fleet um, kind of explore the southern part of that constellation. And the fleet that's here um, in the United Empire system or uh, constellation in Mensat. Um, we've already shot probes out up here. So I think he's just going to cruise down here. And after exploring the Mensat constellation, it's going to come down here to Lynx. And I'm going to have that, sh that scout explore the northern side of Lynx. And we can tell from, from where these are that the central constellation is way over here, right? So it's out of reach from Mensat for sure. So there's like not even point of setting any probes out here because there, there's nothing to see out there. So uh, so yeah, the, the scout that we have here will move down to the nor northern part of Lynx. The one that's down here is going to explore Jyam and the southern part of the Lynx constellation. So then we have um, one scout here at safe, leaving safe. He got attacked by those pirates and retreated, so he's down to 40% of his hit points. Um, so he's going to be exploring out here. So I like to kind of do one on the north, one on the south, or one on the inside, one on the outside, whatever. I like to run a couple of scouts uh, in each direction if I can. Normally, I would do, you know, two of this lane, two of this lane, two of this lane, but it looks like we've got no center lane here for a bit until we're out here. So... Um, that gives us one, two, three. So we need one more scout. So let's send one more scout out of Herolium up into Gruus. Um, and let's figure out who's going to do it, who's going to make the scout. Um, looks like this guy, uh, AB. He's got the shortest build queue, man. I think he's, I think he's the most ready. I stay ready so I don't have to get ready. <laughs> so let's do another detector. Uh, we'll just crank him out right away, get him rolling. Uh, let's look at these. The dagger. Yeah, we're not going to do that. I'm thinking I'm probably going to go with more like a missile. So I'm looking at the missile damage is 38 versus the beam is 15, right? That's more than twice as much damage, but the beam is good at every range. The missiles are only good at a long range, really. Um, but by balancing the kinetic with one long range and one short range, and then they're both 50% at medium range, um, I'm, I'm still coming out with... Um, so at medium range, half of 38 is 19, plus half of 36 is 18, right? That's still a, a lot more. That's still better than two pinch beams. So 
or a pinch beam and a gun. So at this point, um, and with the extra hit points on shields now, um, you know, 2,200 shield, that used to be like something less, less than 1,000. So they amplitude definitely pumped up the, the amount of hit points shields have. That's almost as many hit points as the ship has, right? Um, so if you got 58% going into your shields versus 50% going into your armor, that's a similar amount of damage mitigated. So if the, if the amount of damage absorbed by the defenses is similar, but one of the, one of the weapon types does at least twice as much damage, um, that's the way to go. So that's where I'm thinking I'm, I'm gonna go. Um, gonna go ahead and delete that design. I think I'm gonna be, I'll, I'll, I'll just try to stack lots of missiles. I'll go with like one gun and, and, and all missiles, um, at least early on. Um, and see how we do there. So let's see, we're at two, we're pro, yeah, and that's gonna unlock the next tier um, of weapons and we'll have better guns and, uh, and better missiles. So we'll be going with that. Let's see, those, those do 55 damage and these beams are 21, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling that's the way to go here. Um, so let's explore here. Subterranean 2. And a quest. Antient sub assemblies for colonization. Sixty science. I don't think there's going to be anything over there. Let's see, that's four movement. Yeah, he'll be able to get there. Yeah, so the pirates are gonna get there. We'll see what happens. The pirates may attack this ship if it's there. Um, we'll see. I'll, I just, at the start of the, of the next turn, I will, I'll make sure I don't hit, move all fleets. So let's see, is there anything to see down here? Nope. All right, so if I go outside with this one, then the um, scout I'm producing will go inside this way. So I'll go ahead and send this guy out. <clears throat> to Aquarius. All right, what do we have here? Ooh, a whole bunch. Uh, I have four probes, got an atmospheric, a signal, a life form, atmospheric, atmospheric, signal, atmospheric, okay. I want to go with the life form, and we'll go signal. Signal. Whoa, we got a population. Oh, another population. All right, we got one probe left. Let's see what we got. Oh, Sim Camp! Ooh. <laughs> <coughs> Ooh. I can't feel my legs right now. I'm excited. Outstanding. Sim Camp is amazing. Ah, oh, that is so good. Extra industry from having military troops on your systems. All right, cool. Well, that's a, a whole bunch more stuff we're gonna need to queue up in our build queues. Uh, we got a Yusho population. Okay, well, they, they increase uh, manpower troop capacity on, on your planets, which that would be cool. Uh, we'll do the thing where we spread those around so we have one in every system. And a Calticuma. 
again we'll put one of those in every system if we can cool okay so we finished this quest search three of the identified curiosities to get Epistus that hero that is a seeker an ecologist seeker and we need to do what we need to assign that one to a system and raise this hero level to seven which will give you yes, the idea incubator which gives a 50 percent increase to science and industry on systems with a colonized unique planet and a governor okay so we need to assign that hero to a system and raise it to level seven It's going to take a while to get to level 7 because I don't think I have any... Okay, that one's at 7. There's a pistis right there. Oh, it's already level 5, though. Okay, so that's not too bad. Okay, so of all of our systems, who has the highest industry? It's AB. Wow, really? It's not AA, huh? Hmm. Let's take a look at the hero, though. That's a... A senator? What's what's my ruling? Science and ecologist. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's see. This one's a technologist. Shield capacity on ship. Basically good at having let's see, shield capacity on fleet. They're really good at shield penetration on fleets. Wow, really good at sh piercing shields. So honestly, a pretty decent fleet commander. 25 points to fleet command. Fourteen points total for systems. So really, this hero needs to be a fleet hero. Um, looks like we will temporarily assign them to a system, <clears throat> and then they're going to be a, a fleet hero. So, hmm, should I have that? guess I'll have put them on the system for now and then and then have them become a, a fleet admiral a, a or a B This guy's going to be building fleets sooner than this one will. So I think the way to go is to put him here. He does already have more industry, but he's also going to be building fleets and stuff here. So building fleet is a, a way to really, really quickly increase your hero level. All right, so we'll see if we can get him up to level 7. We're just going to leave the points on the side right now. <laughs> All right, and we'll update. We'll put in sim camps. Oh, that's going to actually change our, our technology thing, too. So we definitely need food.
Something like that. Okay. Need to shuffle these uh, projects around a bit too. 504, 200, that one's 700, that one's 700. Fourteen hundred. Maybe in throw. Once we get the money coming in, then we can pay for that. All right. <clears throat> Move all fleets. That was kind of a long turn, sorry about that. Had a lot to go over. Um, let's see, we have no movement left. We have one probe. One, two, three, four curiosities. We should get three more probes. So what we'll do is we'll just wait till next turn. We have no movement. So we'll do all four probes and then scoot on out to Seganus. And so we're, we've got uh, about 10 turns worth of uh, money. <clears throat> That'll improve a little bit as people land, trying to get our food and dust production up. Okay, so we need to update uh, research. Okay, so we're gonna build Resources, we could probably be building spin projects. And Denark University would be good to have. Cultural flexibility got moved way up here to tier two from, I think it used to be a tier four up here. It was part of super light content. So that got moved up here. And we need more money. And that takes us all the way up to turn 13 or something, 13 turns from now. And, and I do know that, that historically what happens once once I start building uh, trades, trade networks, um, usually my financial woes kind of just fade away uh, because trade routes generate extra dust income. And that just kind of works out. Uh, okay, so he's just going to hang out. <clears throat> okay. Looks like we're finally ready to uh, advance the turn. And I gotta say, after uh, when I was re-watching the, the, the last video to edit, um, where Jeffrey Draper 4019 had, had recommended, it would have been better. It definitely would have been better. Even even when I, the um, loss ratio was here, it would have been better to just go to Miragashi right there. That would have been the better move uh, instead of going all the way to Hakeem and then having to fly all the way back. That was that was less good. So. I end up uh, not following a good suggestion that uh, I should have. I should have followed that suggestion. Ah, how are we doing on scores here? We're in the three hundred club at least. For Diani, are only one ninety nine, two fifty two for Horatio. Yeah, we have a lot of outposts going right now. We're at five of nine colonies. We have one, two, three, about to have a fourth outpost. So we're going to be nine of nine pretty soon. So another thing we're going to need is uh, the Xenoanthropology so we can get the booster program and get plus two more systems. All right, let's see what's going on with this whole pirate thing. Okay, he cleared on out. 
cool. So we can cruise on up into here. Looks like he did not get attacked. Oh, look at that. So, like, if I flew over to here and from there sent probes out, maybe I would spot something out here towards the center of the galaxy. Maybe, maybe not. All right, what do we got going on here? I am now the sovereign of the amoeba. Ah, so I can assist them. Intercept the kidnapper's vessel. Where is it? It's here. All right, well, we're going to go to half, right? So we'll have a, we'll have a fleet in the neighborhood, so that works out. Uh, Atlas, let's go ahead and uh, let's start taking Tiona, right? We can do any of them, but Tiona has a huge income of 10 food. And I think we'll already get um, the 15 influence. Let's watch. So we go from 8 to... three sure do and we want to feed this one from where looks like AG would be a good place to feed him from has the most food <clears throat> that worked I need 550 sell something and get a little bit more that's definitely worth worth boosting strategic there we go go from 15 to 30 food and cut this to 10 turns from 20 you bet nice good deal Uh, influence radii. All right, we're definitely doing that exploring. Aha, that's out there. Cool, so we'll get the amoebas probably. The amoeba system here has titanium and hyperium. Four planets in the system. Yeah, looks like it's worth having. That's going to put us over the cap of nine. So we're, we're definitely going to want to get this xenoanthropology. We'll have to maybe juggle around the... Uh, Priorities. So intercept, uh, yeah. intercept the kidnapper's vessel fleet there. And to do that, all you need to do is guard. Oh, the academy has been revealed. It's been discovered by Horatio. Okay, we have access to hydromiel. So hydromiel is the preferred luxury resource of somebody. The amoebas. Ah, okay, sowers. Ah, let's boost the sowers. They must have landed somewhere. Okay, Hakim. 
colonize this arid planet. Ooh. All right, let's move the Horatio over to that arid. 85 happy, 91 ecstatic. Ooh, yeah. Horatio likes that hot planet. They like sterile. <clears throat> Don't have a sterile. Okay, well, that's, that's pretty good. Static is pretty good. The detector, oh yeah. Okay, we built that. That's another change that's uh, come out. They used to only show 100% on approval, so now um, on this reawakening update, you can have it shows if your approval is over 100. That's good. That actually makes the math easier when you're trying to manage your approval. Let's see, we need to try to get, where are we going here? Probably Zosmanos. Let's go to Hamal and we'll figure it out from there. <clears throat> So we're going to be cranking up our food uh, production, and we're also, right now we have a lot of outposts going, so that's that's lowering the food um, from these systems because they're sending a lot, like that one's 92 to outpost, um, 65 to outpost, 36 to outpost, 24 to outpost. So we got a lot going to outposts right now. Um, once those outposts are done, we're going to be pumping out a lot more population. Our populations will go up. That's going to help us with our dust income situation as well. Coordinated to command, mobile energy weapons. Cool. So we're going to be having tanks. And we get more command points. Plus one command point per hull type. So we were at seven is the maximum fleet size. Now we're at 11 maximum fleet. So that's outstanding. Let's see. Let's take a look at troops yeah I think we're probably gonna do that probably gonna go all armor because our infantry are weak all right and the next thing we're doing survival suits And that's our last tier one tech. All right, this one. Okay, we're doing Aquarius. We're doing all four of these explorations. Did he get attacked? Nope. Horatio did not get attacked by those pirates. I guess he was just too beautiful to be attacked by pirates, huh? Never works out that way when I'm playing Horatio, though. Okay, so all four of these are atmospherics. Um, that's a one, that's a one, that's a one, and that's one. So I'm just going to explore all four of these and then run. And then we're going to head it that way. I'll take a look at these real quick first. Molten Springs, whoa, that's a good one. Oh, man, plus three industry and plus two dust per population. Ooh. And 25 influence. That was off of Aquarius 4. That ocean planet has Molten Springs and Super Spuds. Wow, that is a pretty nice system, bro. There's only one there's only one resource on it but it's it's pretty solid man another 25 influence and propitious seasons that's cool hollow planet comatite volcano 
uh, I haven't figured out how to say this one, humerus incidentis. Food and approval, wow. More influence, that was cool. We got a bunch of influence off this system, dude. We got 100 influence exploring this system. Comatite Volcano, that's one of the best ones. That's great, man. Four industry per pop. And it's on a hot planet, too. It's on that lava planet. <clears throat> wow, these dudes are fast. He's got five probes. He can go all the way down here. Nothing to see at Altair. Hydrus. Ooh. Oh man, I got attacked before I even explored anything. There's uh, pirates over here too. So there's an atmospheric one, a signal one, and a subterranean one. I guess I'll retreat. Whoops. All right. Well, we'll we'll uh, we'll get a look at Hadar. We'll probably send a probe out here to this pirate system and fly down to Airy, and we'll uh, we'll just ex we'll just continue scouting um, over here. just be damaged it's just like yeah I'm gonna need to <laughs> gonna need to building more scouts I've got some damaged scouts already and it's like even if they're armed and they fought um, scouts just don't do very well against pirates even if you're armed it doesn't usually work out too well you end up still getting beat up so um, and, you know we need we need this one too we want to do some terraforming and we're gonna want uh, to explore curiosity level three and deserts and right now it's it's at a discount so we're gonna want to do that one too so got a, a long list of uh, technologies that we're wanting to research <clears throat> all right so at Jayam we have two movement left and we have what one two three things to explore a life form one, a subterranean one, and a quest one. I'll tell you what, I want to wait to do the exploring, and I want to have full movement left in case a pirate comes out. What I don't want to do is get attacked by pirates and lose my hero. That would be a disaster. So here's what I'm going to do I'm going to fire off a spread here. <clears throat> All right, he's done for the turn. all three of these. Eee, we snarfed the population away from uh, the 
United Empire. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'll be fine. Oh, Komatite Volcano Bagaba population. Cool. I don't think I had one of them yet. And 50 more influence. So Bagaba are good for influence income. Yeah, I don't have one of those yet. Great. And he's trying to get back to AC5. Cool. Oh, look at that. Okay, looks like we'll go from Saganus to Ceres to Migres to Arcab. Maybe Zosmanos, but maybe the other fleet will be there by then. So we might go just up there. So we'll see. What's it saying us? Just a subterranean one on an Arctic? Hmm, that could be a good one. Yeah. Adamantian. So fun. Oh, that reminds me. I need to take a look at my uh, minor populations. <clears throat> Across our systems, maybe we need to move some around. Nope, not yet. Definitely scientist ecologist. Uh, next election is turn 40, so it's not that far away. Impervious bunkers and chain gang. All right, so next is unstoppable isotope, which will be a second one, and that will un unlock tier three weapons <clears throat> and after we have the tier three weapons we're gonna um, start designing uh, military ships okay tundra let's see which way is better way more industry a little bit less food so we're gonna take that Good. So what we're going to do is as soon as we build Sim Camp, we're going to start building all of the defensive structures immediately after Sim Camp is built. And that'll just start pumping up that extra industry. It won't be long uh, before we have these colonies wrapped up. Uh, the, uh, I mean the outpost, while well, the outpost completed, um, and then our uh, populations are going to start growing a lot more, and our score is going to kind of take off, man. Then we'll be in the 400s too. So right now, let's see. There's two in the 400s, right? You got the. The Cravers and the Rithborn are basically tied at 430-something. Um, and then Horatio's at 380. And then we're pretty much tied with United Empire. They have 354, we're 348. Um, and then Lumeris are not far behind at 307. 
and then Unfallen at 273, and then Vodiani at the at the at the caboose 217. So we have ship movements to do. Um, yeah, I think we'll just cruise on up here. Okay, we're here at half. Let's have these guys join the lost Horatio. Our fleet is a total of 458 attack, all energy. We're going to guard, we're going to attack. I mean, we're going to attack. We're going to probe this quest curiosity, and then the pirates are popping out and attacking us. <coughs> we got 50 influence, we got 200 dust. And then the next stage of the quest is destroy the pirates to get 50 titanium. Nice. Well, that's going to be a win. Okay, so here they are. They have uh, woo, 165 attack power. They're stronger than I remember. 55 all guns and 110 all guns. So it's one ship has one gun and the other ship has two guns, but it's all guns. All right. So if we go to uh, power to shields, it makes uh, the shields absorb extra. So even though shields don't normally work that well against kinetics, it helps them when they absorb twice as much as they would. Hull plating penetration is not what we want. Hull plating absorption, we, not, our ships don't have any armor. So we're going to go with power to shields. Keeps us at long range and keeps them at a shorter range, hopefully. Um, and their weapons are not very good at long range. Uh, and ours are, we're, we're better at long range than they are by a lot. So uh, we're better off at longer range and with extra shield absorption that should hopefully let the shields that we have on these ships, um, although the Lost Ratio does not have any defenses at all, um, help uh, our ships survive this battle with less less damage taken. So I think that's the winning move. We'll do power to shields and our, we have way more uh, firepower so we, we should smoke them. We should smoke them. And hopefully we won't take too much damage. <clears throat> They're going with hard target, 25% extra long range defense bonus. So they're at medium, we're at long, so then that starts us at long and then we will close to medium range at, at uh, the second and third phases of the battle. Okay, so we're getting attacked on not not the lost ratio. This knife is what's getting attacked by the pirates, and we're seemingly firing mostly at that one, which is the weaker of the two, lower attack power. just the one left. We'll speed it up. <clears throat> Looks like we're going to make it with no losses. All right. There we go. Check the math on the fight. 
without missed shots. Um, so we had beams and lasers. Yeah, beams are just really good at long range, man. And their guns. My shields absorbed 404. We still took 1,500 damage. And we did 5,000. And we got 50 titanium. Awesome. <clears throat> okay, cool. Okay, so I want to send that one back to repair. Let's see, how long do, do I, does it look like a, is he Miragashi? How long will it take him to establish? 16 turns. We'll send him back here. <clears throat> he needs to camp out in the system and repair. The other three can go try to capture this guy. Oh, you know what? I'm going to get Elma. Yeah, I'll probably get Elma, so I'll, I'll just repair him here. Okay, so let's see. How fast are these? That one is eight, that one is seven, that one is six. So let's split these guys up. They don't have to fight the kidnapper. All they have to do is trap him. turns he can get there in two turns he can get there in two turns We're just going to see where this goes. Okay, this guy's going to come back. He's going to come back here. Yeah, that was a mistake to send him back. I'm going to end up getting Ilma. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to spread these ships around, and we're going to try to trap this guy. <clears throat> we'll just watch where he's going. We'll get him trapped. Um, at which point, we'll get that system. Uh, we'll get control of Elma, and we'll get control of whatever military fleets are there as well. Um, and that'll be the beginning of our fleet that we'll use to come after the pirates. And we're going to be building military soon. In one turn. Uh, we're going to explore here and then head over to probably Iris. Okay, so a quest a life form in a subterranean. Ah, cool. Had a pelagic life. Uh, a ticking on population. Antimatter. Resource deposit. And 60 dust, cool. Hey, look, we're already positive on dust flow now. Nice. That helps. Oh, his home system is revealed. Okay. Dennis. It will be mine. Oh, yes, it will be mine. 
<coughs> Excuse me. All right, well, I don't need to use the ship. I, I, push comes to shove. I can explore that curiosity with uh, planetary build queue. I don't really like doing that, but it's, it is possible to do. Four, four. I think I'll just go this way. I should be able to pass through that system okay without the pirates getting me. I think that'll be okay. All right, let's take one, one last peek here to see if we need to shuffle any populations around. Let's uh, let's advance the turn, and we'll take a peek and see see what we're looking like for next turn's events. We should be able to look at uh, new military ship designs. Uh, maybe get maybe maybe off camera. I might queue some up. Uh, I have to kind of figure that out. See what we're looking at here. Yep, electromagnetic shields completed. Unlocked a new slot in our battle tactics set. Whoa, that's cool. Look, there's six slots now. Wow, there's more than there used to be. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we got these unlocked. So we have new shields. New armor, new beams. Ooh, Mentor of Legends. First one, be the first to raise one of your heroes to level 9 and you get 1,000 manpower. Not really a big deal, honestly. Okay, so there's the, there's the laser, the basic Maggie laser. We have the basic phased beam. Basic mono hole plating. We have a plus three more command points. So that gets us, what, to 14, I think? Improved ship design. The ship start at one higher level. Base, basic plasmoid shielding. Basic perfected slugs. And basic decay torpedoes. Okay, we completed a couple things. Academy is now level two. Cephaloros. Ooh. We can do a quest. Assist. Okay, 175 to assist them. What is it that they need? Intercept the kidnapper's vessel. There's a whole bunch of that. Whoa, there's a whole lot of kidnapper vessel uh, catching that we're going to be doing here. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. So he's going to here. I probably should have done him to there. He can guard here. This one can get to here. Yes. 
That'll work. He'll guard. So we're guarding at both of these. Yeah, he probably should have gone here, and this one could have gone here. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Okay, that's fine. We'll end up, I mean, we have four ships that we can use to trap these two kidnapper fleets. This is going to be great, dude. We're going to get both of these guys, which is going to put us two over the cap, which is going to be an approval problem. Um, so all of a sudden I think this just is going to kind of jump the line. That's going to kind of jump the line and get uh, a, lot, a lot higher priority. Uh, how soon do we have colonies? When are we going to be in trouble with outposts? Atlas and Miragashi, 8 and 15. Of course it's actually going to be like half that. We're not going to be building the focus. Uh, we're not going to be building. That one's not actually as high of a priority. We'll need this once we start attacking pirates. Uh, I mean, invading pirate layers. We're going to scale this back a bit. <laughs> All right. So after we finish high energy magnetics, then we're immediately going to start working on xenoanthropology so we can get booster program. I think that's the priority. There's a lot of things we want, but we have to, and we'll get them. It just, <laughs> which order do we get them in? Oh man, this one's tough. Oh, I don't really want to lose 15 industry on all of my colonies. 15 industry is a lot. I mean, I don't really have that much. That's like a 15, 10, 15% 15 decrease. If I lose 10 approval, though, that might take me out of devoted. Hmm. Oh no, a Gaikon? Pirates. A civilian fleet, okay, 13. Well, at least it wasn't my population. We're going to need to deal with these dang pirates. Oh, we've seen eels more trustworthy than you. Fleets are trespassing in our territory. You refuse and have... I get more pressure on them, but then they will denounce us for staver rattling and we lose influence pressure to everybody. So that basically just offsets. It's a push with them, but then we lose influence pressure on everybody else. Um, or if we accept our fleet gets moved to the closest system out of, of their influence and we have less pressure on them. They get more pressure on us. Oh, that's because we're here. But I think if I say yes, it moves it like way back to like here or whatever. I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not willing to do that. And ultimately, we're, we're going to be at war with Flumeris eventually anyway, so... We're going to say no. And that starts us down the path towards conflict. Uh, we've seen eels more trustworthy than you. They relent, really. 
You squeeze the families? The families squeeze back. Bureaucratic imbroglio. And we're now in bad relations with them. Ah, uh, well, it was going to happen anyway, man. I hate to do it, but I think I'm taking the approval hit instead of the industry hit. If, if it drops me out of Devoted, that's a 15% dust and science drop. We'll see if I can manage it. Yeah, we're down to loyal. That hurts. Okay. So we're just going to build, uh, we're going to focus on raising our approval a little bit. Uh, we'll, we, can, we can work around it. We'll just do this. Yeah, the, um, the discovery of SimCamp has set back the, uh, the timing of me building my military fleets because I'm building out the SimCamp stuff first. All right, tell you what, let's take a look at our military ships. Let's see what we'll be doing. Kilo class attackers. Okay, so this is going to be a small uh, kinetic attack ship. And so we're going to have one engine on them. So I have a movement speed of seven. And then we're going to have 44% armor, 71% shields. 3,000 shields. What if we do another armor? Since a lot of the pirates are going with kinetics. Alright, that's pretty good. And then we're going to go with one of our best guns as a broadside flank attack. And then our best missile for our center mount. So it's either that or where I would go beams. The old way I would normally run is beams. 262 damage versus 191. So the beam does 23. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go kinetic. We're gonna give it a try. We're gonna give it a good honest try. Small kinetic attacker. So I'm committed to always to those ones always being kinetic. And then I'll have like energy attackers and I may have uh, mixed connect, uh, mixed attackers. I don't know. But I'll try to have the name match. Okay. So for now, um, if I was to praise, it would be another 130. We're going to wait. We're going to see if we can get those um, 
Let's see if we can get these guys, man. Dude, that'll be amazing we get these guys. Okay, that's cool. Electromagnetic shield. Okay, cool. What's left? I know this, this video is running long. <laughs> Oops. Um, let's check series out here. Uh, we have five probes. And we only have four things to look at. We have five movement left. Okay, so we have the Ruins 2, uh, Life Form 1, Life Form 1, Atmosphere. Okay, let's do the two Life Forms first. That leaves us with one movement. Uh, 25 influence and... Super Spuds deposit. Okay, three probes left. Only one movement. Hmm. What's down here at Negrez? There's one life form. He's already been damaged, so I don't really want to take a chance with him. do it this way so that it will reveal the system but it'll also take a look out of here and the plan will be next turn I'll um, explore these and then head down to Migras all right and we'll advance the turn get all that stuff locked in and we'll take a, a quick peek here and then I think that'll be it for this recording Three seventy nine, almost to four hundred. Wow, Cravers hit five oh five. Whoa, they have big ships there. Okay, guard. Okay, there's um. Okay, looks like they're going here. Oh, we got the guys at Elma. Okay. Okay, we're going to disband the fleet. And then create the fleet. That way it uses our battle tactics. And that is a speed 8 ship. And that speed 8 ship is going to come over here. Because I think it's coming this way. He's going to guard. And if we have anything else that's fast, let's see what we have here. Select all merge. We did have a lost ratio over here, right? Can he get there? Yes. Can anything else get to Essa? What I want to do is have both ends of this, because I'm not 100% sure which way that fleet is going. I want to get both ends locked down. Okay, um, this one has a movement of six. Can you get there? Yes. Perfect. Okay, now we have that kidnapper trapped. Either which way, we're going to get him next turn, and we're going to get Cephaloros next turn. Yeah! Okay, Lost Horatio can come up here to Elma, and we can explore the Curiosity. Let's take uh, all of these, put them into the Lost Horatio fleet, and explore. My minor civilization remains. Got nothing. All right, 
we have the amoebas. Yeehaw, boys, we got them. <laughs> Victory is mine. Okay, then, Bonnie. Twenty titanium, nice. And another twenty titanium, wow. Yep, there's the interstellar kidnap. We got it. Amoebas are assimilated, and apparently they use proto orchids. Black hole location. Build three optics research labs or stasis singularity improvements. And we'll get the Umbral Choir ship. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the one. Um, it's actually kind of a lame ship. <laughs> but it's like a medium-sized ship. Oh yeah, um, we need to... That's right, we flew to here, but we need, we need to fly a, a scout out here to zoom in, don't we? For... Death Without a Corpse. We did one of the two. Okay, so we need... Uh, we need to... Fl uh, I should have fl flown that scout out to Zubin. Oh, well. He's already all the way out here. So uh, we'll have to build an another scout. Uh, I guess out of AB. Go to Zubin. That was a whoops on my part. Gaikon is colonized. Where's that? Here. Oh, this one. Okay, cool. Colonize snow. Yep, that's better. And colonize steps. Sigma is gained at AB. And we now have a Sophon's collection bonus since we have 10 of them. All right, and so we'll probably shuffle, uh, if, if, if we can, we'll shuffle, shuffle some pot. So Elma is going to be moving some, some amoebas around. Uh, we'll be moving somebody off of Hakim. Looks like we'll be moving a Mavros over to AB. And we'll be moving a Caltigma from AB to AA. Yeah, and we've already got one at AC, so that's great. Cool. Yeah, we're definitely getting stronger. We'll set up the build queue there at Elma. Haha. There's the pirates that... Uh, uh, okay, that's what happened. The Gaikon was the pirates were camped out there, and so the the food ship arrived. The they landed, but there was I guess thirteen food worth. That the system was full, and then it was stuck in orbit, and then the pirates attacked it. That that must be what happened. All right, so there's our sneak peek. There's our sneak peek at what we're doing. And I think probably not even going to build um, the DECA class protectors. Because they only have one defensive module. So, yeah, that's just not going to happen. We're just going to build uh, attackers. We're going to start cranking out attackers, man. Um, probably in about four turns out of AB. Might make some out of AA just to get like one fleet cranked out so that we can um, clear out these pirates that are harassing us and um, go ahead and start uh, sieging on Wyrix and then we'll, uh, we'll be attacking. Let's see, it looks like we finished high energy magnetics. And we might pick up focus plasma for when we attack. Uh, the pirate base when we do the invasions normally we'll probably just do orbital bombardment but um, seems like preemptive bombing is even better 
not sure what rally is. Um, there's some some of the new changes that uh, with this um, with this update with the reawakening update. So it'll be fun to uh, to check out and see how that goes. We'll start getting our, our military going, start building some fleets, and uh, continue exploring and raising our max number of systems, getting our food production picking up. Should start picking up here pretty soon. Yeah, look at that. That's going to start kicking in. It's going to be good. Yeah, we're going to start growing our population, and we'll get going. We'll start getting some uh, momentum going here. And we're at uh, t -t 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 one... That looks like we're kind of middle of the pack here on score. Cool. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for suggestions and comments. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.